The MITRE ATT&CK Driven Risk Findings provides security vulnerability information about your vendors. This information is derived by comparing your vendors' questionnaire responses to historical breach scenarios assembled and analyzed by MITRE. You can learn more about MITRE and how it is used by clicking here. MITRE is an organization that aims to help consumers better detect and defend against threats. To do that, MITRE has established the ATT&CK framework, which categorizes adversary behavior and provides a common taxonomy for analyzing breaches. For example, here we see a common attack scenario. Below the attack scenario are the tactics, or goals of that attack. Below tactics are the techniques or means through which a perpetrator may achieve the goals of that attack. The CyberGX controls are mapped to the MITRE attack framework so that consumers can easily compare a vendor's control coverage to the identified paths or techniques used to exploit a vulnerability. This comparison gives you the visibility necessary to determine if your vendor is vulnerable to the same or similar attack patterns. Here's how. The radar chart on your vendor's profile page illustrates that vendor's coverage of controls that prevent each stage of a cyber attack. The area shaded green indicates the degree to which your third party has controls in place to prevent, detect, or respond to each of these tactics. The higher the percentage, the better the coverage. Additionally, the average effectiveness across that vendor's industry is represented by the blue dotted line, so you can see how your vendor compares relative to others in their field. The findings listed below this chart are derived from the vendor's questionnaire responses. The priority of a finding is based on how important a control is in the prevention of the most commonly used techniques within a given tactic, and on how impactful a successful breach of this vendor would be to your organization. As a reminder, impact is determined by your use of the vendor's services, which is derived from the impact assessment questions or the auto-inherent risk section of your portfolio. For more information on the tactics and techniques associated with the vendor's weakest controls, you can click on the details link in the attack column within the findings table. Here you will see the historical use case from which the threat profile was derived, as well as the resulting outcome, severity, and techniques used to perpetuate the malfeasance. Each tactic is linked to a broader description within MITRE's website. Mapping a vendor's controls to a threat profile gives you visibility into the vendor's coverage against that specific attack and allows you to quickly identify what additional controls would need to be implemented to ensure your vendor is able to prevent this attack. CyberGX is committed to providing continual visibility to these new threat profiles within the Framework Mapper library as major events occur. For more information on this or any other related vendor profile topic, please use the Help Chatbot feature at the bottom of the page to query the online knowledge base, or contact your Customer Success Manager for additional assistance.